People in Florida racing against the clock as Hurricane Milton barrels towards the Sunshine State. We've never seen anything like this before. This is the storm of the century. Milton is expected to slam into Florida Wednesday night into Thursday morning, unleashing dangerous winds and record storm surge as high as 15 feet in Tampa. Evacuation orders in place. Officials saying if you stay, you might not survive. Say you're in a, a single story home, 12 feet is above that house. So if you're in it, you know, basically that's the coffin that you're in. The Tampa airport closed. Orlando's airport filled today with people trying to get out of danger. They will shut down tomorrow. Police escorting fuel trucks to keep gas stations up and running during the evacuation. We're also working with companies like Circle K, Gate, Racetrack, Wawa, Shell, and Walmart to ensure fuel trucks are working 24-7 to keep fuel delivered as it comes into our ports. A NASA astronaut capturing this footage of Hurricane Milton from his view aboard the International Space Station. Debris now a major concern after Hurricane Helene hit just two weeks ago. Everything's projectile out here right now because everybody's house is on the front yard and so all this is going to be pretty much missiles coming through. I'm not staying for this. One. President Biden saying evacuating is a matter of life and death. This could be the worst storm hit Florida in over a century. Tampa's mayor saying rumors and misinformation about the federal government's response to the disaster has been a lie. Please don't get political on this. This storm is going to affect everybody and we are getting the help that we need. And we know the Florida Aquarium, which took on three feet of water during Hurricane Helene, has been moving animals to higher floors to hopefully keep them safe. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, Tampa.